I'm Dr. Susan Langer. I'm a doctor of Oriental Medicine working in Santa Monica, California. And I first met Helmut when I was a young practitioner. I newly arrived in America and I was environmentally ill. In searching for solutions to my own health, I realized that I couldn't ethically just create a healthy home for myself, but my clinic had to be just as healthy. And Helmut encouraged my husband Julian and me all the way from the ground up. I think that I was actually student number 18 back then in 1989, and we created, thanks to his help, the first biobiology-inspired clinic in North America. It was called the Meridian Center for Personal and Environmental Health. And biobiology became a very important part of the healing philosophy of our clinic, and we attracted some amazing people both co-workers, other doctors, staff, and patients along the way, and a lot of press because of it. Our premise was why encourage patients to detox and cleanse when they go back home to toxic environments? It didn't make sense. What other doctors were not and still aren't doing didn't make sense to us, and there was no education about making your home part of the healing process or your office. So I actually have a little photo collage to show you how Helmut and biobiology impacted not just my own life, but that of my family and also the other doctors in our clinic and of course our patients from all across America and across the world. So are you ready? Here we go. This was the first one. Um, this was an interview from by East West Magazine and it was about um, how environmentally ill I was and how in biobiology helped my immune system start to heal. And there's actually an article about bio biobiology in East West Journal. So that was the first. Um, then Helmut in 1990, he came to our grand opening of our clinic. Here was the invitation to the grand opening of our clinic, along with the mayor of Santa Monica, other biobiologists, including Mary Kodaro, and um, it was attended by over 400 people to celebrate. And Helmut, in addition to being a great friend, um, is also a great networker. He introduced Mary Kodaro to us, who helped us to create the center, and she, Peter Sirk, and Catherine Metz were all part of our green team. Um, we actually created a tour guide, and many of the products for the clinic were donated, like the paints, the grout compound, the organic cottons, gowns, pillows, treatment tables, plants, um, as is mentioned in this biobiology tour guide. And at the grand opening, we also had organic food and wine donated to celebrate the Meridian Center in all aspects of personal and environmental health. Then, um, in 1993, a well-known architect called Wayne Ruger came to inspect us. And we passed muster, and he invited us to be the token green clinic at the 6th Symposium of Healthcare Design in Chicago. And I remember saying to Wayne that I couldn't present at that symposium without helmet. I actually didn't dare. Um, because I needed him there to educate those 1,500 plus architects, designers, and builders about biobiology. Helmut was the nuts and bolts, and we were the end result. So he needed to be there. And I remember that participants were very intrigued by this new, these new concepts about healthy hospitals, even way back then. And Wayne described our contribution as design producing extraordinary outcomes at the Meridian Medical Center. And at the time, I thought that he was way over-exaggerating. And now, looking back, after all those years, I realized that he was right. And I was the one that had underestimated the extraordinary healing effects of biobiology. And actually, Helmut's presentation is in here too. This was the Journal of Healthcare Design. So there was a video that was created um, of that presentation by Flavia Potenza. She was a radio journalist for KPFK. And this video, I actually recently posted it on YouTube, on Facebook actually. And we were so touched and delighted by the wonderful comments from our former community of doctors and staff 
and patients and friends and biobiologists. Um, it was amazing. And it was an award-winning clinic because we won awards not just for um, the clinic um, and our doctors, but because we gave free environmental biobiology inspired and health lectures every week to the community. So Helmut, you were the pioneer and we just followed in your footsteps. That's all we had to do. Um, so as a result of that, then we were featured in a magazine called Alternative Medicine Digest. And um, we were asked if we'd like to participate because we were featured as the ideal clinic. See that? Ideal clinic. Um, not just because of our doctoring, but because we were the biobiology inspired clinic. And the editor actually coaxed out my personal story of my own environmental illness as being the original impetus um, for the creation of our non-toxic clinic. And then they were also wrote a segment on Helmut and biobiology. And this article from Alternative Medicine Digest then got reprinted into a book called Chronic Fatigue, Fibromyalgia, and Environmental Illness. And we're actually in here. We have a chapter. Um, and Helmut is in here and biobiology, the environmentally friendly clinic, and sick building syndrome. So Helmut, you are in this book too. And then that article got reprinted into another book called Chronic Fatigue, Fibromyalgia, and Lyme Disease. And then, even more, um, it went into another book called Allergy Free, and these books and the articles went all across the world. So you, Helmut, and Biobiology are in all these books. I wonder if you actually knew that. Um, then, after that, we were put in a book, oh, which is really heavy, called Alternative Medicine, The, Definit the Definitive Guide. Um, and then ABC did a piece about our clinic. And then it kind of snowballed with all kinds of media. And because of you, we had patients contact us from all over the world, and they still are today. And wait, there's more. Um, in 2004, we also built a green biobiology-inspired adobe house in Tucson, Arizona. We used earth pigment paints and blue jeans insulation, and it was featured on the Arizona Solar Home Tour and in this magazine, Sunset Magazine. And the house is literally green, and there's even a photo of it, this little cute little greenhouse that um, biobiology-inspired greenhouse. Um, also, gosh, even the remodel of our home in Ojai, California was influenced by Helmut. He connected us with our biobiology-trained contractor, John Cotton, who helped us tremendously. And Helmut, I am so grateful that you were there when I was a young practi practitioner stud struggling with my own chemical sensitivities and feeling very overwhelmed and alone. I felt part of a community though because of you and I knew that I wasn't crazy and that my learnings based on sound scientific evidence could help many, many others in their own healing journeys. I've even actually created a program called Understanding and Healing Your Toxified Child because of Helmut. And at the same time, I'm sad that in other countries they don't have the same backup, support and knowledge that we now have in America, thanks to you. I actually have a young patient in South Africa, for example, with severe, extremely severe multiple chemical sensitivities and no support whatsoever over there. She feels very lonely, very judged, and it's really heartbreaking. And there are still no biologists in South Africa, I gather. So Helmut is like this stone dropped into a pond causing ripples across America. And now we need those ripples to go way across the world. My wish is that this information and the work of the Institute spreads throughout the world so that those in need are educated and unnecessary suffering can be prevented and we create a healthy planet. Oh yeah, by the way, if I went too fast for you with those pictures, books and articles, 
They can all be found on the archive section of our website under Eco and Biobiology, and that's meridianholistichealth.com. Meridianholistichealth.com. And, Helmut, you have been a true friend all these years. Julian and I have valued your friendship and generosity, immense generosity, and we've loved your visits to stay with us, and especially when you brought your wonderful wife, Susanna, who I know became a very important part of the Institute. We send you both our love and our immense gratitude, our eternal gratitude, for your life-changing teachings and for who you are. Thank you.